this is Hui Xu from Inner Art of Music. In this video, I will discuss the scale of C major played a sixth apart. In my last video, I talked about a third apart scale in C major. If you remember, our left hand start on C and right hand start on E. That's the starting point of a third apart C major scale. Now let's try to reverse it. Left hand start on E and the right hand starts on C. You may see we created an interval of sixth. So a sixth apart scale means our left hand starts on the median and right hand starts on the tonic. Now let me demonstrate with just the one octave ascending pattern of sixth apart C major scale. I recommend practicing a set of scales for improvement of technique every day, which include an octave apart scale, a third apart scale, and a sixth apart scale for both parallel motion and contra motion in four octaves. If you can practice those correctly, and fluently and at speed of 120 or 130 or even above, you will have better technique and you will be able to play more virtuosic pieces. The common problems in playing scales a sixth apart are as follows. Number one, the fingerings are difficult to reproduce even though it was fine when we play in scales an octave apart and scales a third apart. Number two, it is difficult to keep both hands playing completely synchronized. The fingering for a six apart scale will also follow the octave apart scale fingerings. The right hand starts on C with fingering one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. We arrive on C with thumb. For regular octave apart scale, our left hand use five, four, three, two, one to play C, D, E, F, G. For a six apart scale, we use the same third finger on left hand to start on note E. We play E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and use fingerings 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3. Now let me demonstrate slowly for only one octave with both hands together. My suggestions for the practice of a six apart scale are as follows. First, practicing it in slow tempo and making sure you are playing the correct notes with correct fingering. Second, if it's necessary, practice hands separately. Third, have hands play together precisely with only one octave notes at a time. For example, you stop when first octave finished. Double check your fingering, your notes, and then see if your both hands are played together or not. If you are fine with the first octave, add another octave. And if you see everything is correct, add the third octave. And then add the fourth octave. After first 
ascending pattern finished, you may start descending pattern with the same method. And then you may practice from beginning to the end the ascending pattern and descending pattern together. After practicing a sixth part parallel motion scale, do counter motion as well. Practicing every scale with counter motion will help you developing some basic hand independence and coordination. Now let me demonstrate in medium tempo for C major a six apart country motion scale. I hope this video is helpful for you to practice a six apart scale in C major. If you have any questions, you may leave comments for me. I will see you next time.